So in addition to iOS 18.6.1 dropping today, Apple surprised developers with a re-release of Beta 6. So before we jump into it, because it was starting out a little different, but the phone is actually warming up pretty, pretty high, hot already while it's indexing. And you can see, yeah, we're over 110, 112 degrees in its normal area where we see that heat. And even near the middle of the device, it's still over 100 degrees. So it was noticeable to the touch. Again, not surprising considering the phone is re-indexing and going through its normal setup, but just something I hoped that was resolved. 18.6.1 that we just installed on our 16E didn't have that problem, um, but I just wanted to let you guys know. Moving on beyond that, let's first jump into settings, general, and about, and see this build number because, yeah, okay, the original build of Beta 6 was a C build. Now we have yet again went back to an F build. So this new build number is 23A5318F. This signifies that it's not quite as close to being ready as Apple originally thought with the C build for whatever they found. They felt this needed to take a few steps back. And yeah, to be honest with you, it's not surprising considering how far along we are in this release cycle, but how far away we still are from the public release in, well, about a month's time. The RC should be dropping around September 9th or so, and we'll be curious to see if with Beta 7, this goes back to a C build. Beyond that, though, we know from Beta 6 that was released a couple of days ago, there are quite a few things that were new here. We will jump into those in a second, but let's take a look as well as our iPhone storage. If you've been following the channel, you know we have been uh, pretty concerned about how this is restoring or holding system data. And as crazy as 35 gigs is, this is actually down from the 40 plus that we were seeing in Beta 6. Crazy to see still nonetheless, and then you still do have iOS running right under 20 gigs in size. I will call out with the system data though, this is always in flux, it's always updating, so this can go higher or lower as needed, but it's just something I wanted to let you know right from the beginning. One thing I do wanna see because I was disappointed they removed it in beta six, in the camera controls, they, okay, they didn't bring it back unfortunately, there was an option to Go to classic controls so when you're swiping between the camera options and shooting modes, if you scroll right, it would go right. Scroll left, it would go left. Now they're inverted. It's kind of a mess, but unfortunately, I was hoping it would come back here. It is not. Maybe in beta 7 it will, but for now, we're stuck with this. So when you swipe left, or I'm sorry, right, it goes left. And when you swipe left, it's going right. Some people might not matter too, but I think it's just a little bit of an inconvenience. Now, before we go any further, I do want to let you guys know, let me close all this out. If you want to get these wallpapers that we always have week to week, we will be doing a new segment on Sundays called Apple Rewind, where you will be able to find those download links for all those wallpapers. Big thumbs up for that if you've been waiting on getting these wallpapers we've been using. So beyond this also, we knew with the camera app what was going on with that. In photos, we got a new splash screen. We got a whole welcome setup and kind of a liquid glass walkthrough uh, on beta six. It was not present here. Doesn't mean it's not necessarily gonna be there, but what a lot of people really liked is under sounds and haptics and ringtones, we did receive quite a few new reflection ringtones. There were six now here, and then the addition of Little Bird at the bottom. I'm not gonna go through and play these all again. If you wanna hear them, go check out our original iOS 26 beta six video where we sampled all of those there. There was in the music app as well, if you jumped in here, Liquid Glass looked ever so slightly more tweaked. And as you can see, while you're scrolling over, instead of having to encompass the whole logo in red when it's highlighted, if you're not quite over there, you can see just how much more fluid it is and it'll show you bits and pieces in black and red as you scroll. So just small little touches here. Control Center, we did have a weird glitch. Let's see if that's fixed. Every time you scrolled up, it would kind of lag for a second. Oh, still there, you can see it. So hopefully that'll get resolved in the near future. Obviously it has to do with that new bounce animation that they added. Uh, so yeah, not a big deal, but just something I wanted to show you. Now let's see really quick, let me go into Chrome and see if we can go to the developer website to see if they have anything updated here for release notes. And okay, you can see nothing is updated since the 11th, unfortunately. Again, not a surprise. That was the original Beta 6 release. 
This will come out over time, but if you missed those release notes, there are a ton of known issues and resolved issues in beta 6 still, and I'm assuming a lot of these will still remain for beta 6 re-release here. Now, let's talk about release cycle because this could be a little weird. We did just get public beta 3 today, we got iOS 18.6.1 today, and we got iOS 26 beta 6 re-release today. So what does this mean going forward? I think this is a temporary patch for whatever felt necessary for iOS 26 beta 6 needing, and I still think we will get beta 7 early next week. It might not be the 18th, it could be the 19th, just depending, but I think we're going to still stick to the weekly release cycle for beta 7 next week and beta 8 on the 25th or the week of the 25th. Then we'll probably skip the week of September 1st and then on the 9th. That is the rumored date for the Apple event, talking about the new iPhones, Apple Watches, and all that. And at that point is when we will see the RC coming. And then we should receive the public release the week after. Usually it's on a Monday, so the 15th. And then the new iPhone should be released around the 19th. So a lot of stuff going on at Apple right now. A lot of good movement. And again, Beta 6 was solid in regards to battery life and performance overall. So whatever they felt needed to be switched here must have been something on the back end or some security fix that needed to get pushed out urgently instead of waiting three more days until next week. But anyways, that's it for this one, guys. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Are you ready for iOS 26? It's almost a month away. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.